guys, welcome back. Today is Foodie Friday and I have a delicious and simple meal for you. This is a highly requested meal and when I say highly requested, that's because my daughter is requesting it. And there's a couple of meals that I've already made that she's requested and I tend to make these meals because she's the one I'm feeding. So I tend to make the meals that I know she enjoys and loves because if she does, she's very picky. So if she loves them, I know you definitely will too. Today we're going to make pork tenderloin with a jam sauce, a side of rice, and Brussels sprouts with Parmesan cheese. So if you want to see how I make this and maybe even enjoy it along, then keep on watching. We're going to start off with the Brussels sprouts and I'm going to show you how to cut them because cutting them is extremely important on the whole cooking process. Because if you do not cook them all the way, they can tend to have a real bitter taste, which that's not what we want. Now if you're ready, let's get cooking. Sprouts and you're going to cut the ends of them and then you go ahead and you cut them in half coconut oil in a pan normally I would put this in the oven but because it the oven gets the house really hot and I do not want to be in heat today um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this all over the pan I have it on a low heat I sprinkled salt pepper garlic powder and Parmesan cheese with the Brussels sprouts are starting to fry so I flip them over so they can cook on the other side and roast and then went ahead and added the same seasonings to the other side and we like to cook pork tenderloin because it is a tender meat and if cooked correctly it is very moist. So normally I cook these recipes in the oven but this time because um, when I use the oven it does create a lot of heat and I don't want to be hot today. So I'm going to go ahead and do everything on the stove top. Two pork tenderloins in the pan with coconut oil and then I've seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder and onion powder. Now that the pork tenderloin is on a low flame, we're going to go ahead and start the jam sauce and prepare that so this way it can go on top of the pork tenderloin. small saucer, I'm adding about a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, two tablespoons of the raspberry Knox jam, that's the brand that I choose, and then two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. And then you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and then once that's done, you add in a teaspoon of butter and stir that until it melts. I did forget to mention that I threw in some dried rosemary, about a teaspoon or so. I just sprinkled it on top while I was cooking. So that was one thing I did forget to mention. I, pour, I cook the pork tenderloin on dough and then I just flip it. Once I see that's getting kind of golden, then I'll flip it. And then once it looks like it's almost done, which I've already done it, I slit the pork tenderloin so this way I can check to see how much it's cooked and it's still slightly pink so I don't want to dry it out we want to still keep it moist so I'm going to let it cook a little longer till I don't see any pink so maybe another like five minutes or so so I also have some white rice on the side because my daughter um, wanted white rice with this and we're ready to dig in and I'm hungry. Okay guys so that's it. I'm gonna continue eating. The kids love it. My daughter has a friend over and they're just tearing it apart. And before I let you go don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel. This way you're notified whenever I do post a video. I currently have a giveaway going on right now and I'm trying to do one every month. So you, there's still time for you to join this month's giveaway. I'm going to go ahead and put the video link in the description for you. Now let me know if you try this recipe, how do you like it. And if you have a recipe of your own that you would like me to try and share it, then go ahead and you can go ahead and send me an email or you can contact me by Instagram. However, get a hold of me, share the information, and I will definitely try it and put it on my channel. Alright guys, I'm stopping it here. As always, I love you and I'll see you in the comments below or my next video, whichever comes first. Have a blessed day.